If you are thinking about buying a drawing tablet, specifically a pen display, that means a drawing tablet with a screen, you should be aware about a visual effect that many pen displays have. You should be aware because manufacturers do not show this effect in their product photos and they do not mention it on their websites. Here's the situation. Manufacturers add an anti-glare treatment to their pen displays. This anti-glare treatment adds a kind of sparkling effect. And let me assure you, every week, like clockwork, I see someone post online, they've just bought a pen display, and they see the sparkle, and some people really hate it. Others don't mind it so much. But I think it is important that you know a little bit about it. And if you are about to buy a pen display, you need to factor it into your purchase decision. Let's see what this looks like. Here are two photos of two different displays. The display on the left does not have an anti-glare treatment. The display on the right does have an anti-glare treatment. They look very different. And the difference is not due to how they were photographed. What to keep in mind here is that both displays are just showing grayscale images. So the pixels are just white, gray, and black. The pixels on the left look grayscale, but the pixels on the right seem to be showing all sorts of little dots of color, red, green, and blue. I do want to point out that the photo on the right does show the sparkle effect, but it also shows it a little bit darker than it actually looks to the naked eye. When I look at it, the sparkle effect is actually even more intense. And you could now understand why some people might not like the effect. Especially if you understand that people keep their faces closer to pen displays than they do to their monitors. When people see the sparkle, they use words like noisy or grainy or greasy, even iridescent. One description I really love is rainbow sparkle. I will call it anti-glare sparkle because it seems that anti-glare treatments cause the sparkle. The sparkle is hard to capture on video, but if you move your eye around such a display, it really does give a sparkling effect. I can understand why some people use the word grain. It does look similar to film grain, the kind that you would see in an analog photo. Of course, it does look quite different in the details, and certainly it is due to a very different process. Photographing or filming the anti-glare sparkle is a little tricky. All sorts of things can happen with cameras. You can take a photo of a display that does not have anti-glare sparkle and cameras can introduce color noise and photos will show it as if it does have anti-glare sparkle. So those pictures can be misleading. You can take a picture of a display that has very strong anti-glare sparkle, but some cameras reduce color noise so much that the photos they produce can remove any evidence of the sparkle. Or sometimes it'll transform the colorful sparkle into a very monochromatic grain. So again, these pictures can be misleading. And of course, distance and focus of the camera have a big impact. It can blur out the grain, making it softer looking than it is to your own eye. Sometimes the grain disappears completely and instead the photo will show the neatly ordered grid of pixels. I'm spending time talking about photographing the sparkle because people have questions about the sparkle and they often provide a photo. But the photo we see doesn't really show the sparkle effect clearly. So when they take a picture of their pen display and then ask, does this amount of sparkle seem normal to you? And then we can't see the sparkle. So you can imagine, how difficult it is to help that person. And remember again, photographs provided by manufacturers never show the sparkle. So far, we've been looking at grayscale images. We can get a little more insight into what's going on if we focus on the red, green, and blue elements that make up each pixel. I photographed one of my displays and I changed the focus so that on the left, it shows the grid of pixels, but on the right, it shows the anti-glare sparkle. With this example of green, you can clearly see how the pixels are transformed to the grainy sparkle. 
and I repeated the same procedure with red, and you see the same effect. Blue doesn't look any different, so I'll skip it. Anti-glare sparkle is not a defect of the display. It is a consequence of the anti-glare technique that is used by the manufacturer. There are at least two anti-glare techniques used on displays. The first is called etched glass. This means that glass is exposed to some kind of acid. The acid eats away a little bit of the glass and that creates the texture. As light hits the texture, the light is dispersed and then that dispersion causes the sparkle. The technique obviously modifies the glass in a physical way. There's another technique which does not modify the glass. This technique involves adding an anti-glare film on top of the glass. So the glass is left alone, but the film causes the light to disperse and that causes the sparkle. The net effect for both techniques is the same. You will see some sparkle. There may be other techniques out there, but I have not heard about them. You might be getting the idea that anti-glare treatment is just bad. Well, keep in mind that in the example I'm using, I am showing a very intense sparkle, but certainly not all pen displays have the same level of intensity. Second, keep in mind that the anti-glare treatment is solving a problem, which is reflections on your device. And those reflections can also be very irritating. There was a paper on this topic published in 2015. It's called Perception of Sparkle in Anti-Glare Display Screens. Now, that paper discussed specifically anti-glare glass treatments, but I think there's a lot we can learn about the topic in general. First, they have this really cool diagram in the paper. This diagram helps illustrate some of the concepts and observations we have made. For example, it illustrates where the etching of the glass happens, which is on the outer surface of the glass. Second, it illustrates how the light gets dispersed because of that etching. And this helps us see why we sometimes see bright red, green, and blue grains. In this example, in the diagram, you can see the green light is being deflected away from the eye, and the eye is only going to be receiving red and blue which will make a bright purple color. The paper is really fascinating, and if you are interested in this topic, I would recommend reading it. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna focus on key parts of the abstract that I found interesting. First, they came up with a measure called pixel power deviation. And my thought here is, it's great to have a standard measurement. Manufacturers should really publish the measurement of pixel power deviation in the specifications for their pen displays. Second, sparkle intensity will tend to be more noticeable on high pitch displays. High pitch means having a large number of pixels per inch. So for example, at a given display size, let's say 16 inches, and at a given amount of glass etching, we should tend to see more sparkle if it's a 4K display than if it's a 2K display. And if you think about that diagram from earlier, I think this makes a kind of intuitive sense. Because if the pixels per inch is very low, that means the pixels are big. So the dispersion will still happen, but the eye will not see some of the rapid shifts of color. And so the effect will look less intense. And I think the takeaway here is that you should be especially on the lookout for anti-glare sparkle if you're going to high pixels per inch displays. And this would happen with smaller sizes of pen displays as the resolution climbs from 2K to 4K. Third, the content that is being shown on the display can affect your perception of the intensity of the sparkle. So for example, in this photo of a landscape, someone would tend to see more sparkle and this would apply to any kind of photo that is simple, like a flat field of color. But in this much busier photo of this crowd, someone would tend to notice the sparkle a bit less. So, if you're going to look at a display and gauge how much sparkle you perceive, you might want to make sure you're looking at something that shows it more, like a flat field of color, because that will provide an upper bound for how much sparkle you might experience. 
I decided to do a little bit of data collection on the displays that I have. Here's a table for five different displays. There are four pen displays and the display of an iPad. For each display, I provide some details like what kind of anti-glare treatment was used, the resolution of display, and the pixels per inch. And for each display, I evaluated my perception of the sparkle at five different distances. Obviously, this is not a large sample size, but it will let us discuss some aspects of the sparkle. Let's talk about my Apple iPad Pro. For the model I have, Apple says they use a kind of anti-reflective coating. They do not use the word anti-glare. And I would agree that my iPad does somewhat minimize reflections, but I still see reflections. Whatever their anti-reflective coating does, it does not seem to create any kind of matte, diffuse, dispersed look that I see in anti-glare treatments. So at no distance could I perceive any amount of sparkle with my iPad. The Wacom Cintiq Pro had a very slight sparkle that I noticed only when I was a few inches away. At a normal distance of drawing, I did not notice it. For the Wacom One pen display, I noticed the sparkle slightly when I was close to it and also at a normal drawing distance. With the Huion Canvas 22 Plus, I noticed the sparkle only when I was a few inches away. The outlier in this group was the Huion Canvas Pro 16 Plus 4K. This was the highest pixels per inch display that I have, and the sparkle was very noticeable within a few inches. And it was still quite visible at a normal drawing distance. And even at one arm length away, I could detect it. My experience with that Huion 16 inch display, the one with the high pixels per inch, seems to match up with the research paper. As you may recall, they said that we would tend to notice the sparkle with a high pitch display. Unfortunately, I don't have another 16 inch display that has such a high pixel count. So I cannot say for sure that all 16 inch 4K displays will have it. If you just bought a pen display and you see the anti-glare sparkle, here's my advice. Even though you may not really like the look of it, please be patient. Use your pen display for a week or two, give it a chance. And you may find that your opinion will change and you won't be bothered by it. That is exactly what happened with me with that Huion 16 inch pen display, the one that exhibited very intense sparkle. Yes, when I first turned it on, I was a little disappointed to see that sparkle. But honestly, after a couple of weeks, I quit even noticing it. And that display is always sitting right in front of me. So give your pen display some time. And if you still don't like it, then consider returning it. If you have not already purchased your pen display, then good. You have a chance to do a little bit of investigation before you make your purchase decision. First, go to the manufacturer website and find out if the pen display has any kind of anti-glare treatment. The vast majority do. If you can't find anything written on their website, contact their support team and ask them. Remember, do not rely on photos they have of the device. No photos they have on the website will show the anti-glare treatment correctly. Then second, ask the community of users. For example, in an online forum, like one of the subreddits that are devoted to drawing tablets, you can ask them if they have the same model and if they notice the sparkle effect, because the effect is very hard to describe in words and because it is very difficult to take a photo, you can link them to this video and it will help them understand what you are talking about. Another thing you can do is explore your own preference. Check to see if you have any displays that have an anti-glare treatment. Now that you know what to look for, it should be easy to recognize the signs. Look for phones, laptops, mobile devices, or monitors, anything with a display panel. If you can find one, take a look at it close up and then take a look at it at your preferred drawing distance. This way, you can find out if you're sensitive to the anti-glare treatment. And if you find out you are, you should take extra care and make sure you pick the right pen display that will work for you. 
One question people are going to ask is, can I remove the anti-glare sparkle? If your display gets its sparkle from etched glass, then there is no way to remove the sparkle, at least none that I know of. What if your sparkle is due to anti-glare film? I'm going to start off and just say no, I do not recommend doing that. Removing the film will probably take your display out of warranty and there is a strong chance you can damage your display. If you look online, you will find cases where people have done this, but based on what I've seen, I would not recommend anyone going down this path. I'll conclude by summarizing these key points. First, the sparkle is part of the pen display design and it is due to anti-glare treatment. Second, there is a wide variation in how much sparkle is present across devices and manufacturers. Third, you may see the sparkle more intensely in devices that have high pixels per inch. A great example is a 16 inch 4K display. Fourth, even high end displays will show some sparkle. For example, Wacom introduced their Wacom Cintiq Pro 27, which costs $3,500. And there is sparkle there when you're looking close at it. Fifth, do your research and understand your own preferences before you make a purchase. Thanks for your time, and I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.